On the snow-capped mountains of Venus, there's no actual snow as we know it because it snows metal. And Alepsis is a designer kitchen pod concept to grow your own insects to eat. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is Mind Blow. A professor at the University of Nottingham discovered a new human body part, a sixth layer of the cornea. He's calling it Dua's layer, named after himself, and the discovery means that ophthalmology textbooks will have to be rewritten, and clinicians around the world are already beginning to relate many diseases to the discovery of this new layer. A Chinese construction firm has been given the go-ahead to create the world's tallest skyscraper called Sky City. It'll be 220 stories and 2,750 feet tall, and when finished will be the size of a small city. It'll have 104 elevators and a six-mile ramp that will lead 30,000 people towards the schools, hospitals, and housing. And they also plan to construct it in only seven months. We see is an interaction interface that is able to recognize human gestures throughout the home. Using Wi-Fi and a few mobile devices, we see can identify gestures in line of sight, non-line of sight, and through the wall scenarios. The prototype was able to identify and classify a set of nine gestures with a 94% accuracy. And they see it being used to control music, TV, lights, and heating anywhere in the home. World's oldest primate fossil ever found, and it was the size of a mouse. Lego is working with Sony to create toys that are more like video games to keep younger kids interested. Though still in the planning phases, some of the ideas are to have the Lego pieces mounted to small motors and cameras. The tiny device is controlled with a video game controller, and the enemy devices are controlled by a computer. They're working on having the cameras linked to a smart device so you can see what your toy is seeing and also developing parts and pieces that can be ejected or blown up. University of Minnesota's biomedical engineering professor Bin He created a non-invasive brain-computer interface that allows the user to control a robot using only their mind. Seen here being guided around a gym, turning, rising, and even flying through balloon rings. The hope is to use this technology for those with neurodegenerative diseases to regain function by controlling artificial limbs or other devices. A new reversible male contraceptive proven effective in mice testicles involves injecting gold nanorods and heating them up. So yeah, DARPA has created new nerve and muscle interfaces that can be controlled directly through amputees' existing nerves. The project is called ReNet, Reliable Neuro Interface Technology, and they're hoping to not only create high-performance interfaces that are reliable, they want to provide sensory feedback that would also give the user the ability to feel. The Emperor 1510LX is a $21,500 high-tech workstation. It has a retractable monitor stand that can hold five monitors, a reclining Italian leather seat with thigh rest, Bose sound system, and a cup holder. Tokyo has underground bike parking structures made by a company named Gaiken that can take your bike into a cylinder that protects it from theft, vandalism, and inclement weather. Using a magnetic key for access, the door clamps onto the front wheel of the bike and takes it underground onto a platform. Each station is able to hold about 200 bikes, and Gaiken hopes to create many more of these in the future, but finding underground space in Tokyo could pose a problem. Finally, Mike Olbinski shot this incredible footage of a supercell near Booker, Texas. I'm going to leave you with Kilobots having a picnic, and as always, thanks for watching.